the top lane the crab i mean and first that's blood. gonna actually be batanon going down it's the first blood here crab is gonna be a uh, contest here but nepo Mosena. i don't feel like that nope. should be the case there goes a fire missile fire stake gonna try to uh, go on on here villa still uh split just giving out a lot of damage here but that's gonna be him gonna be forced to flicker out and the rest of the Malaysia squad are going to go for the flicker. Villa's going to go down as well. 2-0. 3-0. I mean, it's the scoreline. Abyssal Arrow does not connect onto Castro, Castro Mayor. And they are going to be uh, falling back here. But Anon once again back in the fray. Good uh, Guardians Barrier coming in from that Grok right there. He was able to secure the kill for his teammates right now. Malaysia, they have a good start. 3-0. Turtle already up. So that is something that they could opt for. And Masha can solo kill this turtle. All she needs is space. That's basically it. Nepomuceno getting a lot of damage here. And they're going to be backing off for a bit as... Um, Hamjid is going to try to go Reset. for the secure. Castro Mayor goes for the Tyrant's Rage. Goes for the Tyrant's Revenge. Not actually going to happen. Oh, actually, the Bouncing Ball there. No level 4 available yet. Now he has Tyrant's Revenge there. Man, that's Sonata being used by Granger right here. But he just immediately go back to the bot lane to farm again. Of course, four people from Team PH here applying pressure at the mid lane. Um, Selena already her Abyssal Arrow. And ultimate's available for everyone except Granger. And they're going to be backing off here for now. Try to look for an, a good opening here, the Philippines. Uh, Bill is going to try to uh, reset this from Masha. I actually like how um, careful Team Malaysia is right now. They're not going to Oh, Abdullah. That kind of in a turn, Rage. That's going to be Abdullah going down by the hands of Castro Mayor. Nurdila. Nurola, I mean. Going to get Tyrant's Rage up, up against the wall. Zakaria does have Abyssal Arrow available. Instead, they're not going to be able to do much. Norol is going to go down by the hands of Castro Mayor. Castro Mayor flickers out. There goes Batano. Going to try to stop this from happening. Castro Mayor still alive. Oh my Zakaria goodness. is going to go down. That is going to be a fight that they've turned around. That was a very good highlight. I thought Castro Mayor does not mind the sacrificing himself for one kill. But no, he knew that Bataano was right there. Villa flickered out. Nice timing, by the way. He knew Power of Nature was going to be used and Raps is going to be used right there. And that is one kill coming in over to them. Howling Clap was used to uh, go on to, Gra on to Kufra. I mean, Tyrant's Rage going to be knocking on up. No wild charge available here. We're on I'm gonna be backing off here from the Malaysian reps. Hmm. We haven't seen Nepomoceno at the map yet. I mean he was there for like a handful of for a handful of dark orbs, but I think he just wanted to wait for his first core item before he joins the um fights. This is actually risky for Team PH. They're waiting for two people to go online. That's gonna be Tyrant's rage being charged up. Bottom line turret is now open. Masha's going to be taken out. Nurola might be taken One out next. Hit. They're not going to go for the turret dive there. Zakaria gets stunned by the Abyssal Arrow, but he is not going to continue. Mm, That's Sonata being used as well. Yep. Whoa, Bataanon right there and slams his face right at the turtle, but apparently he was not able to steal it. Red team able to secure that objective. Here at the top lane, though, Arc Angel tar um, opting for that turret. Also, nice um, Rondo. He actually avoided Selena's Abyssal Arrow. That top lane turret is going to be dead no matter what happens here. Unless Malaysia starts pushing up the top lane and get the lane priority back uh, in order for them, I don't think uh, it's going to survive anytime soon. But it's still possible for the Malaysia reps to secure a secure two kills, three kills, and then secure a turret here over the mid or over the top lane. Ultimate not enough to even dish sufficient amount of the damage arrow to Nepomoceno. And even though the Abyssal Arrow did connect, that is a kill going over to the blue side. Oh, but I'm not kind of in a bad spot here. Way in the back line, just standing still. He trusts his teammates. Look at that. Jumping oh, straight in Nepomoceno onto that ultimate. And they are going to be walled off here by that Grok. The Grok block, as a lot of people say. That is true. Endless battle already being picked up by Kari. Space created for Kari. Honestly, oh, the big Momo fight here by Malaysia. Castro Mayor is going to go down. Tyrant's Rage is not going to be enough for that. Goodness me. Well, the w for um, at least the minion waves is pushing onto the side of Team Malaysia. But for now, they're going to get that buff 
they should not have overstayed there. I mean, I know they wanted to put a hole onto the base of Malaysia, but they should know that by that time, four people can actually go to them. Masha already has a Demon Hunter sword. She is going to be a problem here. And Zakaria actually is going to be deleted by Arcangel. Arcangel kind of in a bad spot here. Goes for the flicker out. Manages to survive the, the maximum charge, but it's going to be taken out by Masha. And this is going to be another prolonged fight here by the Philippines. Castro Mayor trying to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe against his tank. It's tank versus tanks. Two walls hitting each other. Turtle already up, but no one is targeting it yet. Um, Granger already down, so they do not have a marksman for the next six more seconds. And Batanon is going to be is starting this, this up. I feel like it is. Could be a bait, actually. But Malaysia can actually overpower the, the two guys there over the bottom side, Kufra and Baksha. Hmm, Villa, of course, can, just going to clear out the way Abyssal Arrow not connecting onto Castro Mayor. Three people from the red side down at the turtle area. And Baksha with the first go going to go straight on towards the turtle. Whoops, all right. So, blue team already giving the turtle a start, but on is just right there lurking at the sides as well as Abdullah. They need to reset, reset this, and they did. Waiting as patiently oh, as they can get. Oh, he jumped to the wrong, br to the wrong um, brush. Hello. S spot's right. not on. They just took it back off. <laughs> Two tanks. Hi, what's up? How are you? Your two walls. Oh, no. On is going to be surrounded here. Okay. Those were Still going to go Guardians with barrier. that turtle. I think they can get this now. Yeah. They should. And they're going to go for on. Wild Charge is going to be committed to escape. That's Sonata connecting on to a lot of people. Missile yeah. Arrow not connecting to anybody. Maximum charge as well. Abdullah is going to be caught Boom. there. Gets the stun connection. That is 0.5 seconds that he is not going to be able to move. But Batanon does not have any follow-ups. There goes Castro Mayor. Flicker over the wall. Goes for the uh, bouncing ball and the Tyrant's Revenge. Nerola is going to be forced to back off. There goes the wall off too. The Tyrant Rage just stops Nerola from pushing in. And the Philippines looks like they have a good chance in this game. Batanon in the black lines. Goes ahead. Secures uh, Zakaria there. Right now, they're just focusing on the trick as Samoya jumps straight onto their face, but apparently did not connect to anyone. Look at this Lunox. She hurts a lot right now oh, on the go power of nature and, of course, the wall touch, but it is not enough able to be they're taken be focusing out it. by this Lunox. They could focus on the base right now, actually. But they are going to be backing up. Villa here on the other hand is going to try to stop this uh, Masha from split pushing. Mm -hmm. Almost actually uh, able to secure that. Good presence of mind from the Philippine representative. Malaysia, though, Hamshid going to go in for the clap, but they're going to be backing off. Not a lot of HP here. What is Bataan doing? Going to change this match? Maybe he wanted to go with a 1v1, but Lunox and, of course, Kufra just... Hamshid can actually go for the fight, but Bay Hamshid there! is there! Hamshid is down! Man! The... The... This Baksha man, since day one, a lot of people have been talking about Bataanon's Baksha. His baits, the way he just stands there, the way he leads his teammates to the enemies. And now Malaysia is on the back foot here. Only securing two turrets over the bottom end, on the bottom end of the map. Masha needs to find an opening to start the split pushing. It's going to be hard though. Golden Staff being already picked up by Kari. But if Team Malaysia cannot do a perfect or good setup for Gary, New Rola is just going to get uh, neutralized. Yeah, and that's going to be the Lord uh, spawning. Could be the objective that may decide the fate of our Malaysia representatives here. But the Anu already able to get that buff on just there at the top lane they could try and do a pickoff from with this guy look at that rhapsody goodness me that's sonata being committed as Not well connecting to anybody hamshid could actually go ahead and try to steal this it is completely possible by the malaysian reps but that's going to be on trying to buy a lot of time here going to go for the reset and the reset is going to happen. The Abyssal Arrow not connecting onto anybody, onto anybody, and they're going to be forced to back off here. But once again, the Team Philippines is going to go ahead and start and uh, start the Lord Taker. The Abyssal Arrow actually connects onto Archangel. Archangel is actually still alive. He gets taken out. Uh, he actually takes out Zakaria. And now Malaysia, they're running out of options here in order to secure this Lord. They're going to do whatever they can, but it's not going to be enough. On is going to go for the Guardian's Barrier. It's not going to be enough. Masha, bottom lane, going to try to go for the split push here. Lord is going to be making his way over to the top side. The Philippines is not in a good spot here. They need to stop this push from happening. I mean, the Malaysians are not in a good stop. 
in a good spot here. Oh, it's gonna go down. Bottom lane turn is gonna be destroyed by Masha, but that's at what cost? That's gonna be the the uh, resurrection there. The immortality being popped. Already unstoppable for Nepomuceno. Hams did just gonna go back and like what you said, Lord is gonna spawn here at the top lane. I'm not sure if you saw this, but back in the Lord fight, Selena was tar uh, was about to target Granger. She dashed in, but Castro Mayor immediately used bouncing ball, so that was cancelled. Letting Archangel a lot survive. <laughs> you need that to fight. breathe. Are you okay? I am okay. Okay. I am okay. <laughs> The Lord is now marching in. Malaysia needs to stop this from happening. Masha, stop your split push and try to stop this from happening. That is a level 1 Lord. Sure, it can easily be taken down, but that is still a level 1 Lord. All right, team of PH now positioning themselves to go with a gank or either a split push. But for now, they are going to opt for this mid lane turret on, of course. Tyrant's, re that Tyrant's Revenge is going to be charged up. Goes for the Tyrant's Revenge. A uh, bouncing ball, I mean. To actually stop him from going in, that's going to be the mid lane and the turret going down. Another one going down by the side of Malaysia. That is a 0 from 1 trade here. Bata Anon and the rest of the Philippine squad, they're eyeing. They're eyeing the gold here. Well, at least the silver because they are going to be uh, going to the gold medal match. If they secure this, uh, secure the score goes for them. Last and Saturday, he secures two. It's going to be a close one here. Malaysia only has on and Masha. Masha is going to go down. And this is it. Philippines is going on to the medal match. Gold medal match for to be exact against Indonesia later on. 2-0 victory. Team PH advancing to the grand final. So to our supporters and viewers out there that voted for Team PH, you guys can spam the congrats comments. But of course, Team Malaysia, even though that was a 2-0 in-game, if you look at it very closely, it was close. Very closely, it was close. Um, it just so happened that just like game one, early game, they had it, they had control. But for some reason, there's always this clash or this moment that Team PH always turns the tides around. Yeah, they were able to spot out small openings there in the Malaysian uh, lineup. Sure, Masha.